Hello guys, today we prepare a sourdough. You can see there is different ingredients because uh, you can find the yeast upon many things. If you follow the channel, you know that when you, we make the beer, we avoid the other yeast around us, in the air, in the water, on the fruit or on the stove, enter in our fermenter. Now we want to do the opposite, we want to collect this yeast and use it for make the sourdough. Uh, there is different way to make it. I will try three ways so that you can decide which way is the best one. Uh, we will use 100 gram of flour plus 50 gram of water where yesterday I put a tablespoon of raisin. So we will use the yeast that is on the grapes, on the raisin. 100 gram of flour plus 50 gram of yogurt, the plain one, the white one. You can find the video if you want to make at home the yogurt. The 100 gram of flour plus 50 ml of water where I put already one teaspoon of honey. Now I will mix each ingredient together. I will put the dough in the glass and will close, close with a plastic wrap. In this way you can see what's happening inside the glass. I will do this, uh, for example, now the raising with the flour. I will close after I will wash my hand. I will do the same with the other two uh, sourdough because I don't want to mix the yeast. In this way we can know the best kind of ingredient to prepare our sourdough. Uh, see you in uh, one or two days, 24, 48 hours, to check how it's going on with our sourdough. After 24 hours, our dough with the honey is rising. You can see because it's more higher than the other dough. And you can see also from the plastic wrap that is close to explode. But the one with the yogurt and the one with the raisin, they are still the same. So let's check it in other 24 hours. So after 48 hours. After 48 hours, you can see that the dough with the honey is uh, already near the top of the glass. So it's growing, growing, growing. The one with the yogurt, nothing happened. And also now the one with the raisin start growing. And you can notice also from the plastic wrap that is swallowed up. Now we need to help our dough to keep
keep this uh, kind of uh, uh, work to keep our yeast to grow. So now we take again 100 gram of flour and 20 ml of water each glass. I don't know about the one with the yogurt because I think doesn't work. So now that I will open, I will check. Okay, check the sourdough with the yogurt at the malt on the top. So we can throw away. Now we can go on with the raising sourdough and with the honey sourdough. So now we mix the water and the, the flour in one dough. I will cover with the plastic wrap and we put apart. The same with the other. I will wash my hands in the way that they can remain separate. I don't mix the kind of yeast together. So in a few days to check if our sourdough is growing. After 12 hours you can see that the dough now is the double, both the one with the raisin and the one with the honey. So if you like you can refresh the dough after 24 hours. Probably I will try to make a bread already with the uh, sour dough that I make using the honey. After other 12 hours, our dough needs to be refreshed. Uh, so uh, instead of refreshing, I will use it because this sour dough with the honey is very strong. To prepare the bread, to bake the bread, you need uh, 550 grams of flour, 350 grams of water, 2 teaspoons of salt, 1 teaspoon of uh, sugar, 2 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Now we made the sugar and the um, salt in the water. After we put 150 gram of sourdough in the flour, we add the water, the oil, and we work our dough. After I cover a little bit with the flour, with a towel, and we leave all the night raising up. Tomorrow morning we will bake with the oven preheated at 210 Celsius degree, but I will explain this view tomorrow morning.
ok our dough is ready this our dough that remain I will refresh it so I will mix again with 50 ml of water and 100 gram of flour I will work well I will cover with a plastic bra and I will store in the fridge remember to refresh it one times a week so one times a week you need to add 100 gram of flour 50 ml of water if you have too much sourdough at a certain point you can uh, give to some of your friends or you need to throw away but if you make the bread one times a week there will be no problem the same things i will do now with the uh, sourdough that i you i make it using the um, raisin i will refresh it and tomorrow evening i will make the bread the same way that i have done now don't worry i don't show you how to refresh it again because you know and also i will not show you this recipe but at the end of the video uh, i will show you both the bread made with the honey sourdough and with the raisin sourdough in this way you can choose the best way to make the bread okay guys good night see you tomorrow morning for baking our bread after uh, 15 minutes at 210 celsius degree plus uh, 21 minutes at 180 celsius degree our bread is ready the smell is spectacular i want to taste it but now it's still hot so uh, we need to wait that become cold if not when you cut it you spoil it so see you at the end of the video to compare the two kinds of bread. Very heavy. Let's try the other one with the raisin. Mm. Good, it's true. This one is more soft and you can taste less the sour of the sourdough. Okay guys, remember that you can subscribe to the channel here on my small avatar. So here there is the playlist with the bread homemade so you can uh, use the sourdough 150 grams instead of the baking yeast. And also remember that for any question you need to write down here in the comments. Bye bye. Bye bye.